What is functionalism? Functionalism is one of the major theoretical perspectives in sociology, which holds the belief that society is relatively stable, which means that things occur in society for a specific function, and those functions help maintain stability. For this reason, social institutions such as family, political system, educational system, and the economy are critical for society to function properly as each of them is designed to fill different needs. In fact, according to the functionalist theory, an institution only exists because it serves a vital role in the functioning of society. Thus, if a social institution no longer serves a role, it will die away. And when new needs evolve or emerge, new institutions will be created to meet them. As we can see, in functionalism, the society is viewed as a system of interrelated parts. Here, the adherents of the functionalism stress the importance of interdependence between and among all behavior patterns and institutions within a social system to its long-term survival. Thus, the functionalists suggest that a society's values and norms provide the foundation for the rules and laws that it creates and these norms must regulate the relationships between and among social institutions. This explains why the functionalists don't like conflict and chaos. For the functionalists, the society must be kept intact and must be functioning well. In fact, the main questions in functionalism are What keeps society functioning smoothly? What are the parts of society, and how do they relate with each other? What are the intended and unintended outcomes of an event? The functionalist theory, therefore, focuses on the macro level of social structure rather than the micro level of everyday life. The leading proponent of functionalism was the French philosopher and sociologist Emile Durkheim. As Durkheim famously writes, the totality of beliefs and sentiments common to the average members of a society forms a determinate system with a life of its own. It can be termed the collective or creative consciousness. Durkheim therefore views the society as an organism, since each component plays a necessary role but can't function alone. When one part, according to Durkheim, experiences a crisis, others must adopt to fill the void in some way. Thus, Durkheim emphasizes the consensus and order that exist in society and focuses on social stability and shared public values. From this perspective, as Durkheim would have us believe, disorganization in the system such as deviant behavior, leads to change because societal components must adjust to achieve stability. And when one part of the system becomes dysfunctional, then it will affect all other parts and create social problems, prompting social change.